and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. And it seems like the community wants more Starfield news and information so bad that they're going back in time. To simpler days when literally anything and everything to do with space that isn't inherently linked to a known game project was automatically assumed to be Starfield. The same exact situation is going down right now in the community all over again because we just got some more game footage for some mysterious project teased to us from Intel that some people believe could be Starfield. It's been a while since I've done a video like this, but get your skooma and your space meat ready, get your Chunky's potato space food or whatever that is here, because I'm about to be breaking this all down for you again, just like old times. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So first off, let's start from the source. Yesterday on August 16th, Intel dropped a video showcasing games running on their new ARC graphics card technology. These graphics cards summon demons and force ray tracing abilities into them via invasive cybernetic surgery. N no, I I'm just, I'm just joking. The Intel cards do have their own hardware accelerated ray tracing capabilities though, and Intel wants the ARC GPUs to be comparable with Nvidia DLSS and AMD FSR, hoping to bring ray tracing to Intel consumers with the same performance boosts that DLSS offers, for example, as well. These cards are supposed to be very high-performance GPUs with full support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, so basically Intel fans get to live the life of hitting that refresh button in an attempt to get this GPU before it's sold out literally within five seconds, as the Dark Brotherhood Guild of Crypto Miners and Upsellers on eBay buy these things out before the consumers actually can even get their hands on one, but that isn't the point of today's video, obviously. Instead, on the official Intel Arc GPU website, they featured three videos. One video, simply titled Let's Play, featured several games all supposedly running on this new Intel Arc GPU. This video was supposed to showcase the performance of these new Arc GPUs, only Intel forgot to put like any performance benchmarks in this video at all. Nice, nice job there, guys. However, they did list each game running on these cards, as well as obviously showing the game actually running. And after the 52nd mark is where the start Starfield community started to get a space boner, and they started to take notice of something rather interesting. A random sci-fi game appears, and this actually is the only game in this entire video that doesn't have its name attached to it. And looking at the footage, I can somewhat understand why a lot of people in the community think it could be Starfield, as some of this footage does indeed have some of those old-fashioned Bethesda vibes. Only, in my opinion, the footage in the actual Starfield trailer boasts better graphics than the actual mystery game in the Intel video, but that didn't stop a large percentage of the Bethesda community from speculating away, even thinking Big Robot Boy here is Vasco's daddy or something, Vasco being the name of the robot in the actual Starfield E3 2021 trailer. But is this actually Starfield, and if it is, why? Why is, why is it Starfield? Why is Intel suddenly teasing Starfield without warning and without even telling us the name of the game? Is Skuma involved? I'll break it all down for you and give you my thoughts on this situation, as well as actually using real evidence that exists. Yay! Real evidence! So first off, real quick, Starfield is... It, it's an announced game. It, it's a game that has officially existed since E3 of 2018, so I don't know why it would be the one game in this Intel footage that doesn't have its name listed beside it. And on top of that, why would Intel even tease Starfield in the first place? It's a game that won't be out until late 2022, so it wouldn't make all that much sense, in my opinion, for it to be featured in the video that focuses on game performance on the new Intel Arc GPUs. It's kind of hard for the community to judge the performance of a GPU with a game that we can't play yet and won't even be able to play for some time in a game that we actually haven't even seen any gameplay footage for yet. It, it just doesn't make a the sense. Furthermore, the Xbox series and the PS5 both run on AMD technology, both in terms of the CPU and the GPUs themselves. So, again, why is Intel showcasing Starfield if the current gen consoles don't even utilize Intel technology? Especially so when you consider the fact that Starfield will almost definitely be Microsoft exclusive. Well, Crusader3456 over on Twitter brings up a decent point, and the only somewhat redeeming evidence that supports this footage could indeed be Starfield. Crusader states, Starfield is launching on PC. Microsoft has working agreements with Nvidia such as Minecraft RTX and several games under Bethesda with DLSS advertising. It is quite possible that they also have a partnership with Intel. Why? To push DirectX 12 Ultimate as the go-to graphical API. 
Now, while this definitely isn't enough evidence to prove it's Starfield in the Intel video, it is the only actual somewhat credible evidence anyone has brought up so far as supporting the fact that it might be Starfield. Now, let's look at the footage itself. Right away, there is absolutely no immediate things in this footage that we can directly identify from the previous Starfield trailer. No company names, no items, no logos, no Todd Howard hiding in the background showing us a copy of Skyrim, nothing like that at all. The only thing that looks remotely like it could be Starfield are a couple of the scenes like this one right here. This looks like it could be from a Bethesda Game Studios game straight up, but overall the majority of this footage doesn't even look like it's in Creation Engine 2, let alone anything that stands from the first creation engine. I will say this though, in an attempt to debunk this rumor, the community and myself looked at game after game after game in an attempt to identify what actual IP this mystery footage is from. And when Halo fans were asked if they thought this was some kind of future Halo project or something like that, they said 100% absolutely not. In fact, some of these Halo fans never played a single Bethesda game in their entire life, which is a shame by the way. And with that in mind, they themselves still think this looks like some kind of heavily modded Fallout game, so even people who aren't Bethesda fans are still picking up on the Bethesda vibes from this footage, which I guess is pretty interesting. But literally, other than those vibes, there is nothing else here at all to support this being Starfield. But at the same time, Starfield is the only confirmed game in existence right now that seems to fit the criteria seen in this footage, and it's the only prime candidate in my opinion, but... Does that mean I, I actually think this is truly Starfield? Absolutely not. In fact, I don't think this is Starfield at all in any way, shape, or form. I could be wrong, but I, but to be honest, this might be the one circumstance when I actually hope I'm not wrong about this being Starfield footage, as, like I said earlier, the actual Starfield in-engine trailer from E3 2021 has much better graphics and just looks a lot better than the footage seen here. The graphics in Starfield look like they're at an entire different level above stuff in this footage. While some scenes of this mystery game do indeed look pretty clean and actually decent, some textures are low grade and almost seem like they're for a game that is still in the very early stages of development, which Starfield absolutely is not. For example, the character's suit here just doesn't look anywhere near as detailed or high fidelity as the character in the Starfield trailer. I mean, you can see the freaking pores on the character's face in the trailer here, which gets me excited for how NPCs will look in Starfield, but that's a topic for a different video. And also, some of the rocks and the other objects in this scene here also don't seem to quite fit together. Like different random art or object assets not related to one another were simply compiled into the scene here for the one purpose of showcasing this Intel Arc GPU technology. Granted this scene here looks pretty good and does remind me of Fallout for sure, but that alone isn't enough to even come close to confirming this is Starfield, even with a healthy dose of that speculation salt, even if you just inject the speculation salt directly into your eye. Which by the way, Skullsy does not condone by the way. We do see some of the old-fashioned creation engine anomalies and bugs though, like for instance right here you can see objects floating a bit above the surface they are on, because for some reason in the creation engine, objects just hate touching things. And anyone who has played a Bethesda game would immediately recognize this, this bug here, but again, is that enough evidence to go shouting from the rooftops, causing birds to scatter away into the night sky like some kind of sequel to the old Crow movies, claiming that this indeed is Starfield? No, definitely not, 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 even, not even close. Well, I can't appreciate that moxie chum, I, I just gotta disagree with you here completely. I'm all for speculative hype, but this just ain't it. I 100% do not think this is Starfield. Uh, okay, I guess I 99.5% don't think this is Starfield, because after all, I don't 100% know if it is or if it isn't, but I feel like in this video I provided more than enough evidence and reasoning to support why I think this definitely is not Starfield and why you shouldn't think it is either. So what game is it then? I, I honestly have no idea, but the closest thing I can come up with is Pragmata, a sci-fi game developed by Capcom that was announced back at E3 2020. The game does have similar vibes, and is indeed going to be released on both the Xbox Series, PS5, and as well as PC. But again, Pragmata is a game that is already announced, same as Starfield. So why would it not have its name attached to it like every other game in this Intel Let's Play video? My take is, whatever this game is, it's something that either isn't announced yet or it's simply an asset build from Intel themselves to show off the new ARC GPU capabilities. Personally, I believe it's something that isn't announced yet as it wouldn't make much sense for Intel to throw together random assets like this in a video that literally showcases actual games. I, I believe everything in this video is an actual game and 
and that this isn't just some kind of asset build to show off the ARC technology. Either way though, here we are again, back in the old days of Starfield fandom, back when any space or sci-fi tease from anything at all was automatically thrown into the Starfield fire as being a possible link to the first new Bethesda Game Studios IP in over 25 years. And even though I still don't think the game in this Intel video is Starfield, this entire situation just shows how thirsty the gaming community is for more Starfield information, and to that I say, stay thirsty, my friends. Either way, that's going to finish up everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Just a quick video today breaking this down. While I do like to talk about real information, at the same time, I like to debunk rumors if I think something isn't true, so that was my purpose in today's video. Like I said, I don't think this is actually Starfield, but what I do want to know is what do you think about all this? Do you think this is, this is Starfield? What do you think this game is? If you can actually identify what game this is from, I will give you the biggest shout out ever. But as always, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and be sure to share the video as sharing content is the best way a community can help grow a channel and the community. And as always, be sure to subscribe as well. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you're still subbed because YouTube randomly unsubscribes people. I could really appreciate the subs right now. The channel is growing and if you subscribe, that'll help it grow even more. And also turn notifications on because only 10% of people subscribe to the channel have the notification bell turned on and that actually hurts the channel analytics and the algorithm. So head over to the channel page, turn that notification bell on, and I will love you forever. And if you want to go above and beyond to support the channel and the community, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when it turns out this is indeed Starfield, and I'm, I just I just don't, don't know anymore then if that, if that happens. It, it just works.